your eyes for me? What's on your left side? It's a uh, it's a uh, Mike uh, Mike DeVries, uh girl I got like 12 years ago maybe. Uh, I never retouched it. It was a little bigger on the hands. I had like different other stuff around. Like I got to pack them in Australia to do the tango. Right chest. Okay, wait. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, wait. Uh, this one is. Uh, it was a self-demonized portrait of myself, and uh, Steve Butcher uh, turned it into a traditional Asian Oni. My left hand uh, was a uh, Juan Salgado piece I had like many years ago, many years ago, and I turned it into a traditional Han Ya Oni, Oni piece by Crest uh, from Italy. Your left stomach. This one, was also it had like a Juan Salgado girl with the with the race he does, and I was one of his first ones he did back then, and then I uh, I turned it into a into a Jay Marceau turned it into a Namakubi, which means a severed Asian head, and uh, turned the race into snakes. It's my journey, everything I can tell you. Uh, the way, same way I told you, what, where's that? I can get you where I get them. I got them all over. I've been to do it by in Horiyoshi with Horiyoshi in Japan, Tavori in Australia, in um, Shanghai, in uh, Europe, all across the states. And I'm from a little island in Puerto Rico, so even getting tattooed in the states means something. If I had to value the work on my bodysuit over on the over 20 years of collecting. I would say it could be around like half a million dollars. The Yalsi tag on my back, that's my graffiti and b-boy name. I, I've been in the hip hop culture all my life. That was the, the Yalsi tag. Sometimes the first one, you don't know what to get. So you go just like, uh, let me get the, the tag, the graffiti tag and I just got it. It got retouched after the years. At the beginning, I didn't like tattoos. I've been collecting for 23 years, but at the beginning, I, the quality I saw, it wasn't like the quality I wanted. And I actually started and got my first, uh, like with a really good artist, I researched to get my first one. Uh, so I never was like a kid that went into a shop and got like by whoever, ah, I want to get a tattoo for whatever. So I actually have a plan. It started growing uh, organically. I, I didn't like, was, I got that one. You feel a little weird that you don't see it. It's on the back. <laughs> then you want one that you can see. So I started getting this one. Then I got like the other one, I got my back. I honestly start, got like pretty much full body before I, I went down. And then when I was all body suited is when I get my necks up and my hands. I didn't really like start it like in the hands or neck. So I, I had like, cause I was raised more like my friends, tattooers and the industry and the friends I made in the community were like very traditionally rooted. So I was more like, uh, ethically torn to the, you know, like, hey, don't get the face, face, you don't, we don't do neck or hands on unless you're all body suited or you don't have more room or you know what you want to get. So that was more my, my, my school. Years ago, I started working, I, I was working in different stores. I had a corporate job and I was actually in a corporate job, like when I was fully heavily tattooed, I didn't have a problem. Uh, of course, I also was part of the union there. <laughs> An artist that I regret not getting tattooed by him and he passed and I knew him, which is worst, is Bill Salmon. I wish I could get something by Bill. He's a legend. He He's like someone that the artwork, the people he was surrounded, his attitude, his humor, like his great energy and also an artist that actually taught a lot to other legends like he he put it so much in the industry he put it so much on what tattooing is now even if the people that doesn't know it he did a lot for you <laughs> even if you don't know it i started like getting researching so i got more like really really obsessed and passionate about the artwork so i started like researching different artists because i right now i got like from lettering biomech a uh, new school old school traditional uh japanese realistic, surrealistic, all, all styles, because I do honestly lo love them all. So I was more like very obsessed with, with, 
with with the artwork, researching artists, then you see an artist like, damn, I like his technical part. I like how he tattoo look, tattoos look. I started looking to them. Then you see other artists which can do the same kind of work, but differently, technically, and the the, the flow, the movement, everything. It's been 23 years, almost three or four bodysuits reworked. I have, and I, for example, one, only one artist did my back, no, two artists did my back, and uh, I have, different artists, uh, 146 artists. The evolution of tattooing is crazy. And you see the, I was like, I need to refresh some of this. So I started refreshing it. And I like how the, an artist can take one, the vision of one artist and turn it into his vision. The head and my eyelids was the worst part. Uh, but besides that, it's really good. But I do think that after, now you're like, I don't want to have no more long sessions. You know, like I still get them sometimes. But before I, I could be like 16 hours in the chair and I don't think I can do that anymore. Tattoos are a lot, lot, lot more acceptable now. Everyone, I can say everyone loves them, maybe. I don't, I have never felt, uh, for example, I have never felt uh, judged badly or people like look me down because of them. So I don't, I cannot tell you. Cause usually people like them and they try to even help you. Ah, I like your tattoos. and. Even if you're making a, buying a sandwich, they, 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 they do it like more happy yeah, sometimes. And uh, the way they look at me, since I got my head, I, I felt like everyone was looking at me, stuff like that, and my, not my face, my head. And after that, I just like get used to it. So now most times I'm going out with someone and they ask me, hey, have you noticed everyone looking at you? I was like, I, I don't, because I really don't. For me, it's like normal, so I don't, I don't, I don't notice. I, I think like uh, for my face, I chose uh, Mike Ruvendal to do it. He specialized in Japanese. Philip Lou reworked the head. He did the waves. Uh, and Chris Garber did the claw here. Uh, Big Miss did this. And the way they did, since they work a lot in large scale Japanese, it takes a lot of knowledge in composition. So they made it work like for, to be like this like to frame my face and actually look like they belong to the to the to the face i even asked like uh, mike uh not long ago like to maybe hey maybe if we extend the finger waves here he was good with it but he said like let me see what we can do then he got back to me like man when i did him i i did him like thinking there, there were like like that so i don't really see them i cannot vision them like like going differently because it's gonna change everything and so he said, like, if you want to go with another artist, you got my blessing. I was like, nah, if you don't see it and you did it, I don't think nobody else is going to see it that way. So I just like, just, uh, just keep it like, like that. Right now, my daughter is 22. My son is 18. When my, before I didn't want to do my face because of my kids. And crazy story is that my kids, he was like 13 or 14. He don't live with me. And uh, he came down. One weekend with with a piercing on the on the ear, which I don't like for his age, or or I want him to be, you know, like at least ask me. So I was like, you know what, I want to get my face. So I was waiting for this little motherfucker to to you know, so to respect for him. He don't respect my opinion, so I'm gonna get my face. I got my face. <laughs> I don't mind they having tattoo. I I want them to have tattoo, but I want them to have them the right way. I don't want them to go to anyone just because it's cool and then he regret it or wanted to cover it. I want them to understand art, be passionate about it, and see like, like uh, the biggest picture, like I saw it. And I want them to be, uh, if they're gonna collect whatever, I want them to be savvy. I want them to be uh, educated on on the serious part of tattooing more than, hey, I want to get a cool tattoo because my friend have a whatever. The the best advice I, I can get someone to to get his first tattoo is the same advice I gave to my kids or my sons. It's like you gotta research and see what do you want. Like, for example, if you want a, a rose, you say, like, I want a rose, a flower. But like, okay, well, there's different styles. You can get like a like a black word rose or a black word chrysanthemum or a realistic rose or a traditional rose. The same rose that Dave Tevenel does, not the same that will be done by Mike Chambers or Bert Crack or, or Phil Garcia or Bob Tyrell if it goes black and gray. So I always tell them what style. One day they determine what style they like. 
then they can search for different artists on that style because each artist have a different approach even on the style. I, I, my plan is like, I, I always get like some stuff wherever I travel, little stuff here or there. I even thought lately I want to let my collection age and be able to say like, hey, like for example, most of them have been reworked. And this one, like the Mike DeRees, it was like 12, 12 years ago, still look fucking popping. So it's like, I want to see like, hey, this 12, oh, that's 12 years ago. Or even if it doesn't look popping, like that's 12 years, oh man, how it age. I want to see how they age. These are the 146 tattoo artists that have been part of my collection. Tim Kern, James Kern, Paul Booth, Philip Lou, Robert Hernandez, Toxic, Mike Chambers, Axel Lopez, Bob Tyrell, Jeff Gogway, Timmy B, Ron Russo, Andy Engel, Dave Tevano, Victor Portugal, Sean Herman, Corey Tushy the First, Boris, Mike DeVries, Juan Torres, Big Mees, Derek Billingsley, Brian Gecko, Juan Salgado, Jomico Moreno, Juan Lopez, Freddy Negretti, Isaiah Negretti. Rest in peace. Randy Engelhardt, Nathan Costeco, Johan Finney, Mike Rubendo, Marshall Bennett, Tommy Lee Wetner, Thomas Kins, Megan Hoogland, Emerson Pavon, Nico Hurtado, Camila Roca, A.V. Alvarez, Phibs, Jeremiah Barba, Axel Bros, Lee Orsifer, Jimmy Litwalk, Mota, Soy Mota Ortega, Douglas Martin, Stefano Alcantara, Benji Archilla, Hari Sumi, Chris German, Ben Murnane, Christian Perez, Billy Vegas, Little Dragon, Victor Chill, Ty Harris, Timothy Hoyer, Rember Ore Orellana, Jet Lakeness, Rest in peace. Edgar Marquez, Diablo. Ryan Hadley, Dimitri Vision. Lyle Tuttle, rest in peace. Thomas Asher, Lisa del Toro. Gian Carle, Lupo Castillo. Angel Villanueva, James Tex. Eric De Toile, Bern Broghammer. Angelo Miller, Brandon Schultes. Norm, Jesse Levitt, Jess Jen. Javier Obregón, Ryan Everett. Juan Pajo, Popo. Shane High Kate, Arlo Di Cristina. Master Mike, Zack Singer. Angel Serrano, Daniel Cuervo. Ect Concepción, Rich Pineda, Joe Capobianco, Sulu Ape, Richie Boy, Danny G, Daniel Gonzalez, Norbert Gonzalez, Bill Canales, Roberto Borsi, Ichi Bay, Heide, Richie Montgomery, Horichiro, Oleg Sheplenko, Torella Tavares, Glenn Cousin, Johan Avila, Nate Clay, Marco Galdo, Juan Huang, Omi Kwong, Jay Marceau, Ilya Casca, Don Don, Orijoshi III, Orishige, David Horkera, Cress, Kale Corson, Tu Pagden, Brad Baco, Robert Hernandez, The Butcher, Ching, Tomo, Chris Garber, Nick Baxter, Amar. Argusem, Jose Gonzalez, he took my dick, Costi Azote, Ilker Ruiz, Javi Galien, Dean Sacred, Bowery Stan, Rich Fai, Carlos Macias, Mike Ropper, Mike Wilson, Timmy Tats, Deb Jarian, Shane Smith, Ori Hui, Charlie Carwright, Andre Malcolm, Dust Wu, Monk, Chris Stewart, Sean Henderson, Shane Tan, and Gil Monty. Oh my gosh, I got tired of reading this shit. <laughs>